Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Dead to Rights games for the PS2. Dead to Rights feels like someone took the shootout parts of a cop movie, exaggerated them and made them into a game. You play as a cop, but the story is so weak in both games that the story is there only to tie the shooting to something. And the games are good. They are not memorable, but are still enjoyable to play. And the games even copy the slow motion move from Max Payne. The only difference is that here the game auto aims instead of you targeting while in slow motion. The first one is more ambitious. It had some mini games, I mean some mini games where you had to press the button shown on the screen so don't expect big mini games. And it also had somewhat of a puzzle section. I mean it had some pu you can call those puzzles even if they aren't really straight up puzzles like you usually get in video games. I mean, they are puzzles like, oh shoot that red barrel in order to explode stuff and make a bridge or s some platform on which you can walk and progress in the game. Because otherwise, if you don't shoot that barrel, you can't get to that section of the map. So yeah, I call that a puzzle, even if the execution in the game isn't really that puzzle-like. And the second one is shorter and to the point. And by short I mean that you can finish the game in around 2 hours, which is short even for a PSP game. Dead to Rights 2 also ditches the puzzles and mini games and sticks only to shooting. But at least the shooting part is really nicely done. Overall the games aren't memorable, but sure are action packed and enjoyable to play. Oh, and one aspect I haven't told you yet, it's minor, but still, i it's a little detail that is nice to see in a video game, is that in both games, you can send your dog to bite enemies. And this is the video. I know it's short, but there really isn't much to say about the games. They are to the point, very action-packed shooters with explosions and all that adrenaline and testosterone boosters, that aren't memorable, but are still enjoyable to play, even if they feel cheap. Okay, they are cheap. So if you find the games really, really cheap, I mean at a really low price, buy them. They are worth it. But if you expect the games to blow your pants like some sort of best PS2 titles out there, you are going to be disappointed. As I said, they are short, repetitive, and stereotypical, but are still enjoyable to play. That's why I recommend you get them only if you find them at a really low price.